guys! Again, it's your girl Morings and of course, marami tayong pag-uusapan ngayon all about that and more with Morings. So ngayon naman, ang ating topic will be all about mixed signals. Di ba alam ko lahat tayo, gusto nating ma-ano eh, ma mag-deep talk about dito. Mas madami tayong gustong matutunan and gusto kong ipakilala sa inyo. Nag-guess kung may dati, may show kasi din ako dati na parang ganito din. Pero uh, sa streaming naman yon at isa siya sa mga pinaka naging okay na guest ko. Talagang sobrang madami siyang inputs talaga na may maraming natutunan sa kanya yung mga tao. Kaya naman, I'm very excited na i-welcome sa inyong lahat. Walang iba kundi si Joa! Hi guys! What's up? Wow, touch naman ako sa intro. Oo mo. naman, syempre. Super. Pero Joa, introduce yourself. What do you do? Sino bang ba isang Joa? Hi guys! So, I'm Joa or Joaquin. And right now, I'm focusing on content creation, modeling, mm -hmm. and I'm signed with an agency right now. But dati, I met ano, Ate Moring sa isang live streaming app where we also talked about love and gave advice din. So, sobrang amazed ako na ito na yung <laughs> destination niya yeah. from where we were before. So, super proud ako uh, sa'yo. Ako din, super proud ako. Kasi dati, di ba, lagi nasa streaming lang tayo. Tapos ngayon oh. biglang nag-boom ka, tapos meron din akong ganito. Alam mo yung masarap i-feel na parang yung mga kasama mo dati. Sabay-sabay kayo nag-grow together. Oo, oh, talaga. Tsaka alam mo, excited lahat ng mga nanonood dito. Kasi in Tinatanong nila, guwapo ba si Joa? Sino ba yung guest mo, Morings? Excited silang malaman. Guwapo ba, guys? Parang Oo naman. <laughs> oh, di ba? May mga nag-aantay din talaga sa'yo dito sa loob mismo ng mansion. But before that, ngayon pag-usapan natin, itong topic na nga na sinabi ko sa'yo, we'll talk about mixed signals. Mm -hmm. If you, ano, pag tinanong ka ba, what do you mean by mixed signals? Mixed signals for me is... Siguro inconsistency mm -mm. in a relationship or in a situationship. Kasi it's really common nowadays na we want to rush into things. We want the best relationship we can. We want the best out of the person. And syempre minsan, we, we tend to parang push aside yung mga inconsistencies nila. Kasi exactly. syempre, gusto natin sila. Mm -mm. So ayun, that's where mixed signals comes in. Na parang it's gonna confuse you kung... Ano ba gusto nila? Do they want me? Do mm -hmm. I want them? Is this right for me? Alam mo, I like how you use the term situationship. Kasi parang hindi na de-degrade yung mga, yung mga relationship na walang label, yung mga ganun. Of course. Ganun. Uh -oh. And actually, yung mga situationships, that's where most mixed signals are, di ba? Kasi exactly. yun yung stage uh -oh. na hindi pa kayo sure. Eto <laughs> ba, nung nasa point ka ng relationship mo na parang mixed signal yung pinapakita niyo, why did you stay? Or did you stay ba? I did stay for the longest time actually. And siguro... The reason why I stayed is because I want go. Baka martyr lang ako, and baka I've just always believed that sometimes people still need time to understand who you are. Still need time to be open sa yon. And sure, masakit yun, because obviously there are people talaga out there for you who will be ready for you na. But sure, when you're at the moment and when you love someone. You're gonna do everything for them. You're gonna sacrifice a lot for them, and that really includes tolerating yung mga mixed signals nila. Exactly. Cho ko lamu sobrang selfless nung sinabi mo na na parang, sure, dapat may time din sila to understand me. Oh naman. Pero pa what if di ba dumating sa point na parang di ba matagal na kayo nagsasama and still mixed signal para yung pinapakita. But again, we cannot invalidate those individual. Nakagaya mo. Kahit ako ganon din ako. Kahit pa alam ko mixed signal na yung isang tao. Pero pag super gusto ko siya, I don't mind. I don't mind accepting the fact na probably gusto niya ako ngayon bukas hindi the next day gusto ulit. Of course, kasi that's love. Love is about sacrificing for people and putting your needs and wants over theirs. But then again, answering your question kanina, mm -mm. parang where do we draw the line? Diba? Where do we draw the line when it comes to allowing people to continue to be inconsistent, to be toxic? Yeah. So, ikaw, when do we draw the line with that? For you. Ako siguro, uh, nag-draw ako ng line, ng line if I think na na uubos na ako sa process because sometimes kasi sa sobrang pagbibigay it's not bad to give it all ah no mag-all in ka sa isang tao it's actually ano parang okay siya kasi that's love eh when you love di ba talaga nagbibigay ka pero sometimes if you realize na na you're losing yourself in the process na mas madami na yung pain kaysa dun sa saya na dapat nararamdaman mo I think that's enough na kasi minsan pag tinatolerate mo yung mga ganong bagay ikaw yung malulugi hindi na nga nare-reciprocate yung pagmamahal na binibigay mo tapos parang ikaw wala ka ding plano para sa sarili mo kasi lahat ng ginagawa 
ginagawa mo nakadepende sa taong yun. Exactly. And you don't want that to happen in the near future because as much as we would want to, gusto natin na sabay sana tayong nag-grow. Di ba gusto natin sa isang relationship, sana sabay tayong umangat. Hindi yung ako lang yung laging nagbibigay, ako lang yung oh, nag- laging games. nagmamahal. Oh, oh. Kasi minsan, kahit pa sabihin nilang hindi ako magsasawa kasi mahal kita, pero mauubos ka. Oh, oh. Yung kahit gusto mo pang magbigay, wala ka nang maibigay kasi nga naubos ka na. Exactly. Diba? And I feel like something important in a relationship is, kasi diba you asked me kanina, Mm-mm. why I choose to stay kahit my mixed signals, kahit my inconsistency. Mm-hmm. Eh kasi for me, ayun, yung sinabi mo, it's about growing together. No. But then, ayun guys, there really has to become a time where you have to set your boundaries and dapat tumigil ka na when you start to lose yourself and when you start to feel like give ka ng give. And then for them, sanay na sila kasi na inconsistent sila. Pero ikaw, mm-hmm. consistent. Consistently exactly. there for them. Consistently mm-hmm. accepting the bare minimum. And sometimes the bare minimum is already a clear sign na they don't really want you. Mm. Because you know what, guys? Naniwala ako sa saying, if they wanted to, they would. Tama. If they wanted to, they would. And wala akong pake if people are gonna say na, oh, baka hindi sila ready, baka right person wrong time, baka, you know, a lot of these things. Mm. I don't believe that. I believe that if they are the right person for you, no matter what time it is, they mm. will tama, be there. Tama. Pero ito naman, have you considered yourself na parang, Shocks, lagi ako nagre-reklamo dun sa mga nakaka-fling ko or nakaka-partner ko na parang feeling ko sila yung mixed signals. Pero, have you asked yourself na mixed signal din kaya ako? Ako hindi. hindi. Honestly, yeah, I can say that with confidence kasi when I love, I love hard. Kahit inconsistent sila mm-hmm. or mixed signals, ako, I'm gonna give it my all para if it ends or if it doesn't work out, alam ko sa sarili ko na I did my best. Mm-mm. You Pero, know what I mean? Jowa, but ako, ano, alam ko sa sarili ko, may confidence din ako na sabihin na totoo akong magmahal. Mm-hmm. Hindi ako naglalaro ng feelings. But when the time comes na kasi na pag tong isang taon to, isang araw, hindi niya napapakita sa akin or napapafeel sa akin na hindi niya ako binavali. Parang ginagantihan ko siya. Pero alam kong gusto ko siya. Oh. Pero ayoko rin maramdaman niya na sobrang patay na patay ako sa kanya. So kung ano pinapakita niya sa akin, kahit sobrang gusto ko siya, binabalik ko sa kanya. Oh. And then the next day, if sweet naman siya sa akin, edi magiging sweet din ako. Ganun ako. Is... Pwede din yan. Kasi no. it's about reciprocating the energy for people. Like, for example, if they want to be dry or cold one day, edi, syempre, hindi ako Gina-Gina, I'm gonna be sweet, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, okay lang naman yun. Pero, syempre, when the relationship ends, you're gonna think, okay, could I have done something more to make them feel like kaya nila maging consistent sa akin? Yun, yun yung isip ko eh. Kasi I'm the type of person who will always think about what else could I have done to make them be sure about me. Eh, alam ko na sakit yun and parang martyr vibes. Mm-mm. Pero alam mo, at the end of the day, if we don't love 100%, we're never gonna get 100% back. What do you think, aside from dun sa sinabi mo kanina na factor, kung bakit um, mixed signal exist, what do you think are the other factors kung bakit sila nag exist Let's try to understand them. Kasi, okay, let's try. Uh-oh. Devil's uh-oh. advocate tayo. Uh-oh. Um, ikaw, you start, you start. Ako, kay, ako aminado naman ako, diba? Parang, sin, hindi ko masasabi na hindi ako mixed signals because madami na nagre-reklamo sa akin, masyado kang mixed signals. Mm-hmm. Parang ngayon gusto mo ako, the next day, hindi. Ako naman, nagiging ganun ako, it's because natatakot ako na nararamdaman ko kasi na yung taong yun, hindi siya interesado, hindi siya sigurado sa akin. So, bakit ko gagawing sigurado yung sarili ko sa taong hindi naman sigurado sa akin? Oo, gets ko naman. Parang binabalik ko lang yung idea na, ikaw nga, hindi mo nga masabi sa akin kung anong i-clear intentions mo. Parang they keep telling you na gusto kita, but without actions. Oo. Di ba, may iba naman na sobrang puno ng actions, pero wala namang salita. How will you know? So, parang ako, hanggat yan yung pinapakita mo, eh, go. Pero sabi kasi nila, that's one, ano daw, parang isa yun siya sa mga kind ng mixed signals na okay ka ngayon, tas hindi. Oh, ikaw. I get that. Mm-mm. For, well, f- branching on your, ano, Mm-mm. your point, siguro, same din ako, but syempre at the start, I will put my best foot forward muna. Like, if gusto ko talaga yung tao, kahit hindi sila masyadong G, eh ako, I'm gonna show them na G ako. Ito pero ba? Oo, pero when it comes to the time where G na G ako, bigay ako ng bigay, and then wala pa, syempre take a step back muna. Mm-mm. Kasi syempre at the start, we don't know kung ano mga trauma nila, mga fears. So it's important to understand na baka takot pa sila. Not because of me, Mm-mm. but maybe because of the past. Or exactly, maybe yung traumas of, nila dati, oh. di ba? So I feel like, I don't blame people for being hesitant sa start. Kasi syempre, lahat naman tayo, we've been at the point where we find someone who treats us well, di ba? Tapos nakakatakot, oh, no? Oh, takot pa tayo, di ba? Bakit tama yung pinapakita oh. niya sa akin? So, pero ako, 
I, I've I've never been the first to be Gina G. Pero syempre, di ba, we're, we're flipping the perspective. So ayun, siguro, ako kasi, I know na hindi ako Gina G even though they treat me well. Kasi takot ako. Mm-mm. Pero alam ko naman na if I was in their position, I would still be G. Kasi ayun, knowing what I know now, trauma is really something that stops people from being all out, being super sure about someone, di ba? So, ayun, gets ko naman na bat may mixed signals. Pero at the end of the day, dapat may boundaries talaga. Oo, oh, tama. Draw Tsaka, the line somewhere. Di ba sa mga breakup din, parang pag alam mong pa-end na yung relationship nyo, may lumalabas din ng mixed signals dyan, di ba? Oo. Oo. And actually, on the way here, I was thinking, okay, what am I gonna talk about? Mixed signals. <laughs> uh-uh. So, for me, what I thought was, mixed signals sa start ng relationship and end. Because, uh-uh. ayun, so let's talk about that. Mixed signals in the end of a relationship. So, for me, the reason why I broke up with my ex kasi... Ah, ikaw nakipag-break? Oo. Pero wait lang, ikaw nakipag-break, pero, pero nahirapan ka rin ka mag-move on. on. Pwede ba yan? Oo, pwede yun. <laughs> But, hindi naman... Wait lang, before ko mag-discuss yan, hindi ba nabigla ka lang sa pakikipag-break? Um, Or things are toxic no, na talaga? No, because there was already mixed signals towards the end. So the mixed signals made me realize what I needed to do. Mm. So because there were mixed signals at the end of the relationship, I realized that, okay, maybe this really won't work na because I've tried and parang towards the end of the relationship, sobrang naging toxic, sobrang naging... Parang di ko na alam kung mahal ko pa siya, kung mahal niya ako. Mm. And ayun, um, my ex cheated multiple times. So, Wait lang, gano'n kay katagal? Yun yung totoong mixed signal talaga. Gano'n kay katagal nun? Eight months. Sa eight months na yun, several times. When, when you say several times, how many? Um, so, I caught my ex cheating October. When we broke up talaga. Uh-huh. So, sabi ko sa kanya, Aminin mo na kung yung know, lahat ng ginawa mo. So inamin niya. Ang social niya magreklamo no. Aminin mo na. <laughs> Nakakainis. <laughs> Ayun, so inamin niya na since August uh-uh. until October nagchichit siya. So and then I I look back, okay, what happened in August na parang why didn't I why didn't I see it? But in reality, when I look back, I saw it because of the mixed signals. Na parang They would want. They would always chat, pero they'd never want to hang out. They would always um, say good morning, good night, pero throughout the whole day, walang chat. Tapos magsasabi ng I miss you, pero walang gagawin just exactly, to see you. Exactly, exactly. So it's really important din, if you're in a relationship na, and it was good, parang biglaan may mixed signals, that's when you should think na, okay, why? Kasi guys, mixed signals is a clear signal that something is happening. But did you guys talk about it? Like, before breaking up talaga? Mag, mag-come up kayo sa idea na let's end this. Nag-usap naman kayo? Oo. And I gave my ex another chance pa. Aww. Until binugbog niya ako. Yeah, super. Kasi there was one time where sobrang nainis ako because I found out na um, my ex did something ulit without telling me. And then, we got into a fight, and then it went physical. So that's when I re- that's when I had to draw the line when it came to, parang tolerating, mm-hmm. tolerating all the highs and lows of a relationship. Because I said, because I was talking to my friends, sabi nila, sabi ko sa kanila, is cheating an up and down in a mm-hmm. relationship? Is it part of the highs and lows, mixed signals? And then, and then we were talking about it, and I realized no, it's not. So I had to draw the line. So ayun, parang that's what I mean when I say na it's good to give people second chances, it's good to be open to mixed signals and trying things out. Pero once things start, parang pag malala na, Mm-mm. that's when you need to end it. Eto naman, when it comes to mixed signals, meron bang, ay sabi mo wala kang limit, no? Pero hindi ka... May limit ako. Oh. When when I start to, like what you said, lose myself na, na parang I'm not getting anything out of it. Pero, Kahit pa sobrang gustong, gustong, gustong. Oh, oh. Kasi dun, ang dami pang tao sa mundo. Mm-mm. Like you're gonna stop yourself, you're gonna rob yourself of the love you deserve and want just because of one person na gustong gusto mo. Eh, imagine how much you love the person who doesn't give you anything. How much more are you gonna love the person who's ready to give you everything, di ba? Kaya I always tell myself na, okay, it didn't work out. Thank you, next. Di ba? dami pang tao sa mundo. And I feel like it's important to also allow yourself to explore. Allow yourself to leave people. Allow yourself to 
grow with other people mm-hmm. because sometimes some people are not meant to be like big chapters of your life sometimes page lang sila Dato. you you read the whole page you you um take it in you get everything you need from it and then you turn it and go on to the next you mean san pa hindi pa nga umaabot ng isang page oh, eh para ano lang one sentence, sentence. <laughs> <laughs> diba pero alam mo isa sa mga masasakit talaga yung people na inaexpect mong magtatagal sa hindi nagtagal but that's okay diba pero isa sa mga sabi nga nila mixed signals is not something that you should be confused about kasi pag alam mong parang hindi na tama yung pina... It's easier said than done. Kahit pa sabihin ko na, kung hindi na tama yung pinapakita sa'yo, iwanan mo na. Pero in reality, oh. kapag tayong nasa position, sige, okay lang. <laughs> Nung, yun yung nangyari dati sa ano ko, sa ex ko, na parang, alam ko na yung marami, before kami naging kami, lahat ng tao sinasabi na, paano kayo nag-meet? Eh, ikaw yung parang, ikaw yung achiever, ikaw yung goal-oriented. Tapos siya, siya yung laging mo nakikita sa bar, na parang, laging may ganito, laging may ganito. Pero, hin- parang isinantabi ko lahat. Parang binaliwala ko lahat ng mga comments ng tao. It's because, pag nagustuhan mo yung tao, regardless, kung ano man yung maririnig mo sa ibang tao, or kung ano man yung mga sasabihin nila sa'yo, it won't matter. Kasi Uh-oh. nga, pag gusto mo talaga yung tao, gusto mo yung tao. Di ba? Exactly. Pero do you consider warnings? For example, before entering a particular situation, pag may narinig ka guys sa akin, pag may narinig na ako na something sa tao na yun, will you take a risk or no? Well, dati yes talaga. Pero I realized in my last relationship, um, sinamahan ko siya sa, sa club. Tapos, ano yan? Before naging kayo o kayo na? Nung start. Mm. Tapos sabi ng friends ko, uy, hindi ba may jowa yan? Oh, sinabihan ka ng ganun. Tapos anong na-feel mo nun? Eh, parang sobrang takot ako na, oh my God, akala ko siya na it's gonna work out. And then, may jowa pala siya. And then, tinanong ko siya. Sabi ko, totoo ba yung mga sinasabi ng ah, mga tao? Ah, oh, kinonfront ko talaga. Siyempre, I don't wanna like get into a relationship tapos may jowa pala oh, sila, oh, di ba? Oo, pangit yun. As early oh, as kapit, na. Guys. And, tama. Exactly. So anyway, tinanong ko siya. Tapos sabi niya, hindi naman. Pero parang may ka-something ako. Eh, that that was the warning sign. Pero still... Imagine, may someone na siya noon. Tapos oh, oh. pinili ako. And okay, at that time, syempre feel na feel ko na okay, baka mahal niya talaga ako. Pero guys, how you found that person is how you're gonna lose them. Tingnan mo, may ex cheated on me. Because that's how it started. Oy... It was karma ka. for me. It mm-hmm. was karma talaga. That's why the lesson I'm gonna learn in my next relationship is when you see warning signs, take it. Because the universe is trying to tell you something. The universe will really look out for you and will really warn you. But at the end of the day, we all have free will. So, bahala ka na. But there will really be warning signs that you have to see and you have to act on. So ngayon, I believe it. Oh, it. Ako din naman, na, nabasa mo ba yung sa Alchemist? Parang ganun yung naging story na kung may mga gusto ka, parang magko-conspire yung universe to make it happen for you. Kung may mga ayaw ka naman, parang the world will not allow you to grab that opportunity yes. as well. So yeah. ngayon naman, dito sa sa mixed signals, what if, I know I know you're not totally okay, na super okay na okay yung masasabi. Pero what if na medyo okay ka na ngayon tapos bigla siyang bumalik? Eh, syempre, medyo nakalimutan. Hindi naman siya nakalimutan, pero alam mong you're getting better na. Na parang kaya mo nang... What if bumalik siya? Ah, uh, Joa, please! With this person... Please! It's gonna be so stupid and my friends are gonna kill me Uh-oh. to say this, but I would. I don't know why. I don't know. Like, And I always tell myself this, like, why? But for me kasi... I don't know. Parang... And alam, you know this, that I'm really a martyr for people. Oo naman. Tsaka, alam nyo guys, kahit sa mga dati nyo nakakausap, lagi nyo sinasabi sa akin na gusto kong bigyan ng chance. Talagang, malay mo, konti pa, konti pa. Oo. Siya yung tipo ng tao na kapag... Kasi alam ko, kaya talaga. ko pa eh. Kaya uh-huh. ko pa. Kahit, okay, kahit sobrang di ko kinaya nun na to be okay, I'm okay now. Parang, why not? Because kaya ko pa. And I know sa sarili ko na kaya ko talaga. And if it doesn't work out, then that means hindi talaga meant for me. At saka wala pa kaming closure. So ayun din. Oy, not having a closure is the closure. Oh, okay. di ba? Pero, True. bakit ganun? Bakit di naman? Hindi ko alam eh. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, a part of me just wants to just try it again. I don't know. Maybe it's yung trauma bond. Maybe it's hmm. the, the, parang, routine na kahit sakit, you'll stay. 
And I don't know, maybe, because I'm healing, pa, diba? uh-huh. Baka during the healing process, I'm gonna wake up one day and tell myself, okay, I'm never gonna let that happen again. Pero siya, prayer asking me early, early healing stages, but and I wanna be honest on this podcast. Uh-huh. Honestly, I will be open. But kahit alam ko, it's not right. I'm hoping one day, while I'm healing, I'm gonna realize na, wow, wala na kong desire to make things right or to try again. Ganun. Siguro, right now, I'm open, but I know soon, I'm gonna wake up and honestly not want it anymore. Pero syempre, I'm being honest lang. Tsaka alam mo, kahit ikaw pa yung pinakabobong tao na feeling mo, ikaw, alam mo yung gagawin mo. Alam na alam mo, but it's just that sometimes, hindi mo nagagawa yung tama. Kasi nga, clouded pa yung utak mo. May mga bagay na hindi mo agad-agad nawawala sa sa feelings mo, or di kaya gusto mo pa rin maniwala na baka pwede pa, mm-hmm. na baka okay pa. And there's nothing wrong with not being okay. If you are not okay, it's okay. And take as much time as you need. Kung kailangan mo mag may it be months, years, di ba? It's okay. Wala naman silang pakialam dapat sa'yo kasi buhay mo yan. Exactly. And diba? that's why I want I want to show this side to the people watching. Kasi syempre on social media, syempre you want to flex to your ex, to everyone Ito. who knows you've been mm-hmm. having a hard time na, hi guys, okay na ako, ha ha ha, I won. But in reality, you shouldn't care about what other people think, what other people say, where you should be at, Like, for example, they're gonna say, ay, four months, move on ka na. If you haven't moved on, guys, that's okay. Don't force it. You know, sometimes in life, we always want to say na, I wish I could go back to my old self. I wish I could move on from the past. But I don't believe in that. I don't want to go back to my old self. I want to rebuild the new me Tama. after a breakup. Mm-hmm. There is a new me that has grown after that toxic relationship. And I'm gonna let it grow. I'm not gonna wish it never happened because it happened and now I'm ready to build the new me for my future and for the next person I'm gonna be with. Pero syempre ngayon pag-usapan natin, Joa, di ba, marami ka nang naging relationships. Nagkaroon ka na din ng ilang mga situationships na puro oh. mixed signals. So the next time that you will fall in love with someone who's mixed signal again, what will you do? Or ano na yung mga bagay na pwede mong baguhin? Or, I think natuto na ako. Uh-oh. I won't fall in love with someone na mixed signals na. Alam ko yan sa sarili ko that, ah, kasi syempre, I've been through a lot. It's gonna take a while for me to fall in love truly. And siguro sa mga pinagdaanan ko, I'm not, it's, I'm not gonna tolerate it na. Kasi I've tried ilang beses. Alam mo yan, 20 years. Well, syempre, siguro I only started mga 16. So mga 4 years straight na tolerating mixed signals, making reasons for it, and I think I won't na. Hindi mo sure. Yeah. <laughs> hindi mo sure in the pro- Kasi minsan, hindi naman kasi natin alam mo, yung mga taong dumadating sa atin, mm-hmm. may mga tao kasi na super okay talaga sa umpisa. Di ba yung feeling mo, ay, ito na, ito na yung for me. Tas, oh, well, biglang, different yan. Kasi uh-uh. if I was to fall in love with someone, syempre I'm gonna fall in love with someone who showed me green flags at uh-uh, the start. Siguro. But different yung na yan agad if, agad. Oo, pero different na yan if yung sinabi mo na halfway through the relationship, mix signals na sila. Iba na yan. Siguro, for me, if you were to ask me how I would deal with that, I would say na, ayun, communication. And learning from the mistakes of the past that when you see mix signals agad, stop it, talk about it, and tackle the problem together. And if they don't wanna tackle it together, if parang inuulit pa nila, eh, walk away na. Because I've already been there. I've been a martyr so many times. I've been giving people chances. And I did my part na for the world. I've poured out my love to so many people. So, if wala pa, if wala na, after, you know, trying again, wala na. Wala na talaga. Mm, tama. But I want you to answer the question, bakit kaya gusto natin ng mixed signals? I mean, alam natin ng mixed signals, but still, parang most of us, no? Kaya nandun yung question na, why do you think nice guys finish last? Di ba? Kasi lagi tayo nag-ahapol dun sa mga taong. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, we all don't like the thrill. Deep down, <laughs> ha? let's not deny it, ha? young True. tayo, we're young, we want something fun, something to keep us up at night. Like, gusto niya ba ako? Gusto niya ba ako? We want something to tell our friends. Uy, tingnan mo, the next niya ako. Pero, din niya ako, he didn't view my story. Parang mga ganun. Oh. Eh, guys, That's just human nature to always want something that keeps you thinking, something that's exciting. Pero, it comes with maturity. It comes with maturity when we realize na, na okay, the bad boys, the bad girls, fun sila. But then, when you're mature and when you grow, you're gonna realize that 
love should not be roller coaster rides and oh, up and downs. Oh. It's imagine like you're just sitting at the beach and the waves are crashing. Mm-mm. That's what it should feel like. And there's birds in the air. It shouldn't feel like like parang you're at a loud party and then you're drunk and Mm-mm. then it's like wild and crazy. At saka pag dumating ka sa point ng buhay mo na there's a lot of things already going on in your life. Tapos dadagdag pa yung puro thrill na gusto mo. Nakakapagod pala. Nakakapagod. It's like, mong... like, love should be your escape oh. from the world that's so noisy around mm. you. Like, love shouldn't be your battlefield. Love should be your safe haven. Tama, tama. Diba? No, na instead na dagdag sa stress mo, dapat mabawas. Ano. Hindi man matanggal, but at least, malesen nun yung mga nararamdaman mo. Same goes with, for example, sobrang addict na addict tayo sa mga bars, clubs, going out. Tapos biglang dumating ka sa point mo na nagsawa ka nun because you wanted to Netflix and chill na lang, nasa loob ka na lang, mas, parang mas gusto mong i-reserve yung energy mo for the things na alam mo mas magiging productive ka. Ganun yung pakiramdam. But then again, pag nasa face ka pa ng buhay mo na, sige, explore ka lang ng explore. And gusto mo pa dun sa mga taong makakasama mo mag-explore, then go. Basta, sabi ni Ellen Adar na you deserve what you tolerate. Exactly. Diba? I believe that. That's why sometimes di ako, I can make sisi to my excess. Kasi syempre, dude, I let them hurt me. Diba? Exactly. That's why the next one talaga, I will make sure na whatever I want, I will get. And if I don't get it, goodbye. Pero before, we are about to end na. And ngayon, I wanted to ask, what are your tips and tricks? Wow, tips mo tricks. para sa mga taong madalas din na pupuntahan ng mga mixed signals. Ano, siguro tips and tricks is, syempre, it's important to know that not everyone knows how to communicate, not everyone is gonna go into a relationship na alam na nila kung ano gagawin. If you're experiencing mixed signals, bring it up, talk about it, and if things don't change, walk away na. Walk away agad because mixed signals is a clear signal that they're not really ready pa. Pero syempre, give it a chance first to talk about it, Mm-mm. communicate. Pero again, if ayaw talaga nila, walk away na. Mixed signals means no. Diba? Hmm, tama, tama. Pag hindi talaga klaro, or talagang hindi klaro kung ano yan, wala na yan. Pero again, we cannot invalidate those individuals na gusto naman mag-take ng risk. Uh-oh. No, because it's a matter of sino ka as a person. Eh. Kung itatanggapin mo yun din ko, kung hindi, edi go lang din. Mm-hmm. Ikaw naman makakaano yan. How about doon naman? Mga parang message mo dun sa mga nagbibigay naman ng mix signals. Yung alam mong alam nila sa sarili nila na mix signals sila, pero pinagpapatuloy pa rin nila. Di ba parang meron bang naniniwala ka ba na may two kinds ng mixed signals? Ito yung intentional intentional na mixed signal sila. Tapos ito naman ang hindi nila alam na mixed signal Uh-oh. sila. Well, if hindi mo alam na you're giving mixed signals, syempre, hindi mo alam. Uh-oh. How but if you someone, know kaya, no? Yeah, if someone brings it up to you, that's why my first advice was to bring it up, di ba? If you're mm-hmm. experiencing it. Talaga. So now, if you're giving mixed signals and hindi mo alam, pero bringing, bringing up na sa'yo, and that's when you have to assess yourself. Okay, why are you acting like this? Is it because ayaw mo sa tao? Is it because natatakot ka? And then you talk about it with that person and communicate. Again, I keep repeating this. Communication is key and communication is what's gonna help a relationship. Mm-hmm. Whether kulang ka sa communication, whether you don't know how to communicate, just try and take it from there. Because when you love someone and when you want to be with someone, you will find a way to make it work and you will find a way to be able to overcome whatever you guys are going through. If gusto mo talaga. Kaya guys, I keep saying this and I want to end the podcast with this one line. If they wanted to, they would. Mm, tama. Inculcate natin yung sa mga utak natin para sooner or later, pag makahanap tayo ng taong parang, ay, ganun, parang medyo shaky siya, edi alam na natin na hindi, pag gusto nito, for sure Uh-oh. gagawin niya. Kasi kung hindi, talaga hindi niya gagawin. Mm-hmm. Labagyan lahat sa loob niya. Yeah. Diba? So, guys, maraming maraming salamat. Do you have like any message for our viewers? Wala naman. I think I said everything. But, uh-huh. I wanna say thank you to mm-hmm. you for this. Parang it's super therapeutic, no? To just uh-huh. talk about your feelings and to just exactly. let it all out. Lalo pa kasi, Ano, Atom Morings and I have been friends for almost two years. Exactly, I think three yeah. years by the end of this year. So, para she's she's known a lot of what I've been through. And we've also talked about it on live. And I just want to say I'm so proud of you. Now, this is where you're at right mm-hmm. now. Because, look, 
look look at what she's been through in her love life and how she's helped other people. That's a prime example of how the pain of your past can help can help your future, guys. So whatever you're going through in life, whatever heartbreak you're feeling, you'll never know where it's gonna lead you. Exactly, de ba? Minsan dapat mas maging inspiration mo pa yung heartbreak mo to do something better. Exactly. And I'm Just really like happy. What you did. Oh, de ba? Sabi ko nga, thank you for those who said no. Because yeah. because of them, I did it. Diba? Exactly, you did it. Diba? I'm so proud of you. Ako then, super proud ako. Alam niyo ba si Joa? Model na to ngayon ng iba't ibang malalaking brands. Nakikita niyo na siya sa mga name it. Lahat pwede niyo siyang makita sa lahat. Kaya naman, I'm SM, super proud. Uniqlo. Oh, ba? Diba? <laughs> Oo naman. Those are just few of the brands na meron siya ngayon. Kaya naman, I'm so proud of you, Joa. Thank you so much. Kaya naman, ipapollow mo na sila sa lahat ng mga social media accounts mo. Yes, guys. So, I'm on I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Lahat, Joaquin Tiu. Um, Tiu na T-I-U, ah. T-I-U, ah. Joaquin, T-I-U. Pero, ingat muna kayo sa Twitter, ah, kasi medyo makalat ako doon. <laughs> Pero sa IG, follow nyo ko doon. And I also live din all the time. I'm uh-huh. actually planning to start my own podcast oh, din. It's just that, oh, sobrang busy ako kasi uh-huh. sa mga shoots and events. Nakikita but eh. oh, oh, once I get time, I'm really inspired by Ata Moorings and want to do it as well. So I hope you guys can follow my journey online and I want to see you guys soon. Yay! Thank you so much, Joa. And once again, sa lahat ng mga nanood, maraming maraming salamat. Dahil mahigit isang oras po muli ang ating pinagsamahan na napuno tayo ng kwentuhan, chikahan, at syempre tawanan. Dito pa rin yan sa ating podcast. And of course, I'd like to thank our sponsor as well, Home Sweet. Maraming maraming po salamat po sa furniture na pinadala nyo ngayon. Sobra naging comfortable ng aming usapan because of you guys. Kaya naman, if you want to have this kind of furniture, please do visit Home Sweet PH sa kanilang Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at sa iba pa nilang social media accounts. Once again, maraming maraming salamat. And marami ulit tayong pag-uusapan pa dahil sa Wednesday, again guys, ang ating uh, podcast ay Monday, Wednesday, and Friday na. Again, that's MWF, 4pm to 5pm. And magkita kita ulit tayo sa panibagong episode at panibagong magiging kasama. Sana hindi ito yung last time na makakasama kita sa podcast. Definitely, definitely. Promise? Promise talaga. Oh. I had a good time. Oh, may usapan na kami. Ano alam mo dati, gusto sana naman gawin talaga, di ba dati, na sige, guest ka ulit, guest ka ulit, mm-hmm. na nagsistream pa tayo. Pero, syempre, may mga better opportunities na meron tayo. I'm so happy. So Nag-renub natin siya. Once again, guys, maraming maraming salamat. See you on Wednesday. Siyempre, all about that and more with Morings. Bye! Bye, guys.